Hello there, kids, and it's I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of The Shadow of War. All right, when we left off, um, <laughs> I was clearly not looking like this, and I was clearly not in Kirith Ungol again, uh, or Sirith Ungol. I'm not entirely sure which pronunciation. I remember Kirith, so I'm just going to call it that. So, yeah, <laughs> we're back in Kirith Ungol. Um, what I did was I came back here after messing around in Nernan for a bit with uh, the little daily challenges, and a couple of them were in Kirith Ungol, so I thought, oh, okay, I'll just come over here. And uh, a weird thing happened that I did not know was a thing that could happen. Um, <laughs> apparently, <laughs> I ran into Og Blackblade while I was here, and, uh, <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. Uh, when I ran into Og Blackblade here, I ran off because I didn't want to, you know, capture him before his time and I didn't want to kill him. So I just kind of fled the area. And then I noticed there was a daily quest in, well, <laughs> there's a daily quest in Minas Morgul. And I figured, you know what, I might as well see how that looks these days so I went over came over here and uh... <laughs> now um, you'll see in a moment what I'm talking about eventually there we are <laughs> it's taking a while to load all the bodies there we go <laughs> he came over here and now he's sitting over at Minas Morgo he followed me all the way to Minas Morgul. <laughs> and now he won't leave. <laughs> now he's stuck there, basically. So, he's moved on his own from Kirithungul to Minas Morgul. Um, <laughs> didn't know that was a thing. Didn't know you could do that, but, I mean, now I know. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he's just sitting over here, waiting for me to come back to fight him. Because apparently he wanted to fight me that much. He crossed the entire little stretch between Kirith Ungol and Minas Morgul to get there. I didn't know that was a thing. But that was fun to find out. <laughs> anyway. Uh, we still got a couple of our bodies here. I cannot seem to find... Cannot seem to find... Uh, our guy... Fulgum. At all. So I don't know what's happened there. I'm not sure what to think about that. Maybe he'll come back at some point. But as of right now... His body isn't showing up. And... That's that. Not entirely sure what to think. So, there's Ronk still. <laughs> anyway. Uh, other things. My character is now at uh, 42. Uh, thanks to online vendettas and online conquests. <laughs> and, yeah. That's pretty much our setup right now. For skills and whatnot. I still have not gotten uh, Dragon Rider. But I have gotten... Shadow Strike, Shadow Strike Pull. It, it's all, all the good shit right there. And yeah, that's pretty much everything that's new. <laughs> I've also expanded our uh, abilities a little bit uh, when it comes to the secondary skills, but not much, not much. Anyway, now to... Uh, show what happened in well not here per se I can show that later but it was showing it's showing the witch king of Angmar that's not right there we go <laughs> that's a current one for Kirith Ungol uh, to show you what's going on back in Nernan where I left uh, Rosh as you can see a uh, couple changes happened to Rosh um, 
he came back after I sent him into the online fight pits. Uh, the first one he won, so I got a little cocky, sent him to the second one, and he died. He died real good. <laughs> so I thought, fuck, alright, well, um, I'll just get a new overlord in there, and we'll see where it goes from there. Then he came back, and he betrayed me, because he was pissed, and I don't blame him. And uh, his level was actually too high for me to deal with, so I had to brand him. So he's got that little mark on his face, he's got an axe in the head, and uh, he is back on my side now. So I had to shame him down to be able to get him to join my side, because um, he had iron will as well. Which was a bitch to get off of it. <laughs> but eventually I did. So. There's that. You uh, remember Douche Headchopper? He became Douche Kinslayer. After he had uh, killed a guy with a blood brother. <laughs> An Uruk with a blood brother, rather, I should say. And uh, then I decided, you know what? I'm going to try and get him on my side. And, uh, tried to shame him down a little bit, so that way we could do that. And, apparently that ruined him. So now he's douche the ruined. And, uh, his blood brother got really pissed at me for that. <laughs> and, uh, did not like it. One bit. I think his blood brother is... I think it was not Arbeka. It was Urheku. I didn't kill him. It was either that or Aztarmo. I don't remember. But I didn't kill him. I just made him flee. And uh, he's now this. He's on my side as well. Because I figured, fuck it, why not? Uh, we also have Grook Lycehead here. Uh, that was, I think... If I remember correctly, he was in my uh, garrison, so I just sent him over here to kind of take uh, Rosh's spot, and then Rosh came back, so I was like, okay, I'll just move him back. And, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, Azgrels, we've already had, Ronk, we've already had, Hura Brain Damaged, uh, he was also one of my uh, garrison that I sent out. If I remember right, yeah, he was. He, I sent him out with uh, uh, Grook. Anyway, there's Moog. He's he's very nice. He's good. I like him. Uh, and then we got Gura Firebrander, which was one of the guys that popped up after I took the fort. Um, Flog the Strong. Is that a couple new guys that I don't know about? I'll have to find out when I come back. Uh, Naurug the Rog, just an old Uruk, apparently. Shag the Filthy, there he is. Sugor Flesh Lump, there he is. Bruise is still there, of course. Prak Warmonger, he's over here. And yeah, that's pretty much the layout of how this place looks after I left. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. Now, back here, where I'm currently at, we got... Akaro, pain seeker, as the overlord. Apparently, he took the overlord position after, well, <laughs> after all the shenanigans that happened. Um, Hoshkrish hasn't come back. Uh, Narug hasn't come back. So, or I should say, Narug the Heartless, because we got a lot of common names going on. Arsaku, uh, Ulrok. Hork, the worm killer, he came from a garrison. I just sent him out because I was like, fuck it, I want some mystic people around. Uh, also, Azranz is also one of my garrison. Luga, uh, Luga was here. And uh, he kind of ran into me, so I was like, oh, I want at least one. <laughs> one person on my side over here. That came from the surrounding area, so I just grabbed him. Uh, 
fear of burning, yet he has a fiery weapon. Who would have thunk it, right? Anyway, um, a lot of these are guys that were here before. Some of them are new. Uh, we got Zun Hura. There's Kuga the Uncatchable, who used to be Quick Blades, but then uh, he ran away. Uh, Ashgon, Ghoul Keeper, Pug, All Eater, Scoth the Wise, I think he was here before. Moog the Seer, I think he was here before too. Prak the Devoted, I think he and Flog were here as well. Nazu Crush, he's new, I think. And, yeah. Tugog of the Hand is still the same as well. I haven't really done much else with. Ah, uh, Kirith Ungol. I've kind of left it alone, more or less. I just wanted to grab some of the uh, daily challenges, and then some of the daily challenges uh, rewards kind of dried up from being good to being black. <laughs> so, that's how that went. And as you can see, I've been upgrading the fuck out of my, uh, <laughs> my legendaries lately. Uh, when I hit 40, I decided, you know what, I'm going to finally be able to upgrade them. I might as well go after it off camera. And that is a thing that I did. What I got upgraded thus far. Uh, this new sword came up while I was getting stuff. Breath Stealer, which is pretty nice. I was able to level up the Sword of Vengeance and the Sword of War. Uh, I haven't been able to finish up the Blood Sword yet. I was able to upgrade all the daggers that I had. Darkest Dagger, Dagger of Vengeance, and Blackguard Dagger. Currently I'm using the Blackguard. And then we got the Darkest Longbow. This one was a new one off of a uh, Dark Follower that popped up in a Spoils of War chest. I just broke him down <laughs> and got the uh, Legendary. And this one was actually better than the one I had. So I was like, okay, I'll take this. <laughs> Uh, it actually had a better uh, secondary effect rather than what the other guy, the other bow had. So, yeah. <laughs> and I upgraded that and that. Haven't been able to get the uh, Longbow of Vengeance upgraded yet. That'll have to wait a bit. So, for the time being, I have to wait. For the armor sets, I have all of them except this one, which was another new one from a legendary follower that uh, was already in my garrison, and then I decided that he wasn't worth keeping around, so I just broke him down for the equipment, and this threshing armor came as a result of that. The rest of them I've upgraded up to full. Uh, then the cloaks, all of them except the marauder I've upgraded. Got all of these. And for the rings... The feral one was new. Uh, the uh, warmonger one was new. And I've upgraded them to full as well. So yeah, there's that. And the effects, as you can see, that I have currently going on is a 25% chance to inflict all sort of status effects that can be done upon an enemy on a hit. And gaining might when enemies take damage from my poison, which... I still have primarily coming through the sword. And then I have the extra effect of, oh, anything else in, you know, the repertoire of status ailments can pop out as well. So that's always nice. So yeah, that's a thing that's currently going on with my character. And I figured that should be put out there now. And yeah, everything's basically covered. All right, now... What I was going to do was one of the main quests over here. I didn't touch some of the Eltarial quests over here because I figured that'd be better done on camera. Yeah, if I can control Talion to do the thing I want, that'd be great. Thank you. Okay. I want you. Thank you for joining me. All right. Now, in the meantime, let's head over here. Ooh, what's this? Karagor Hunt. I don't remember... Oh, you're... this one's for proc. Eh, well. I guess I could let that one play out. <laughs> eh, nah. I'll do the Eltarial quest first, then I'll let some of these play out. 
There we are. Someone's sneaking around. Yeah, it's me. Eltariel has discovered the location of a Nazgul ritual. Disrupt it to prevent the Nazgul from creating more Chosen, which is a thing we should do. Had to take a long gulp of coffee. <laughs> All of that talking was pretty hard in my throat. <laughs> Ah, uh, look at me. That looks so cool. Oh. So that's how the Chosen are created. That makes sense. That would be more festive. Yeah, a little bit. Nazgul is entirely focused on the ritual. This is the perfect time to strike. Alrighty. Approach. It would be wise to eliminate them quietly. Or, uh, I could just dominate them and have them be on my side. That'd be nice. Alright. Okay, well, um, that already throws off my plans. Okay, let's go over here. Up we go. There we are. Decent. Oh, jeez. Like oh, fuck. Oh, fuck me. Alright, well. Oh, jeez. Jeez, fuck. This did not go well. Okay, well, this is not going good. Okay, fuck me. Fuck me. This did not go well. Alright, well. Thank God he's still focused on the ritual. Well, you're dead. <laughs> Multiple objectives added. Okay, great. That's great. Alright. There we go. That actually worked. That worked? Alright. Alright. Well, I guess I gotta defeat the orcs that are at the ritual as well. There's that anyway. Um, who's this guy? Oh, this is Ulrock. Okay, well, didn't realize he would be one of them. Um, enraged by rival. Fireproof and immune to curse. Okay. He is vulnerable to stealth, though. Maybe. If I... Hi there! Um, Come to join these three in service to the Witch King. Not really. For that is your destiny. You must know this. We I know, know that it's not really my destiny. Not with the chosen, and not with you. No well, talk. Okay, well, that didn't work out well. It seems the corpse that walks has found me. Yeah. Just in time to go back into the ground. Well, that's what you think. All wrong. Uh, you do have a lot of abilities, though. He's about okay. to run. Take him now. Hey, there's Quick Blades! And now the Uncatchable again. What? <laughs> the fuck? Okay, he keeps getting his name changed. He's clumsy and vulnerable to stealth. Uh, what was he immune to? Fire. Okay. Alright, that's fair. I'm just gonna shoot him in the face. Shoot you in the face. Shoot you in the face. And shoot you in the face. There we go. Whoa! Just threw one of his buddies. That's weird. Alright. You're gonna get beat up quite a bit. And... Oh, you almost died. <laughs> you just threw at your buddy, man. You always do that? Buddies. Whoa. Okay. Ow. Okay, never mind. That's not gonna work. Hi there. Um. Oh, fuck. I forgot. They do not like that. Okay. Really? Ow. Well, there's Kuga dead. Nice job, Altariel. Oh, jeez. How about no? And there's Ulrock dead. It's unfortunate, but didn't want to deal with them. Oh, ow. Okay, fuck off. 
Fuck off, guy. Whoop. Hi there. Okay. There, now we get you dealt with. Ow. Just kill the Nazgul guy. Whoop. Well, he got poisoned. Well, so much for that. Well, he's dead now. Oops, ow. Didn't see that. Ah, perfect. And... Brand. Goodbye. Okay, well, now they're all dead. But this was not the last ritual, and it will not be the last fight. I assumed as much. But, uh, thank you for letting me know. Alrighty. I almost wasn't able to do that fucking additional the of our victory will be far objective. Reaching. We've seized the initiative. Now they are forced onto the defensive. Back an enemy into a corner, eh? Usually when they become the most dangerous. That is true. That is very true. But, I mean, you can see how it will play out anyway. There we go. Let's, uh, see what these are. Ah, kind of worthless. Hey, if they come back, they'll be stronger than ever, so there's that. <laughs> but I have a feeling that they they might not come back. I might have killed them good. Too good. There we go. All right. Well, that was done. And now... Uh -oh. I should probably get some intel out of you. If there's any new guys that's popped up. And God knows there's probably a couple. No? No one new? Well, then. Guess that's that. Alright. Anyway. Now that I've done that, where are some other quests? Well, I mean, there's a bunch of uh, tribal showdowns and whatnot. Sure, let's do a couple of those. Why not, right? See if they bring in anyone cool. Although, honestly, I've been trying to uh, get the Mystic set, and honestly, nothing has popped up in that. No legendary gear that could do that. Nothing really at all. And that's a little odd to me. Whoa. That was a noise. Cough blood. Okay then, buddy. You uh you have a thing for blood. Fair enough. That's fair, I guess. Okay, let's kill this guy, this guy, this guy, and use you to learn some intel on this dude. Alright. Good thing that they were so close by, huh? Alright, uh... Bloody blood, bloody blood, bloody blood. He has a fear of poison. And he has some exhaustion when his rage... runs out. That is good to know. Thank you, my friend. You have proved most useful to me. And then... And... There we go. Whoop. Hi there. And now you're gonna get some poison. <laughs> oh, that's great. I'm gonna let him do a little bit of damage. Let him have some fun, huh? Might as well. There you go. Good job, guy. Not bad. Whoop. <laughs> that's a little extra frozen. There we go. Whoop. Nice try. And get some damage on you. Yep. <laughs> wow, critical hits are procking left and right. I love it. Alright, you know what? He's already kind of wackadoo. I guess we shame him down to my level to then eventually get him. Uh, he should be... Yep. Now as he's at a level, I can get him. There we go. Mission complete. S escaped. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, I can get him on my team. And he'll just have a little extra little hand mark. 
as a part of the whole thing. Battle reports. Alright, well, something pipped down a little bit. Alright, there's that anyway. I think that thing that pipped down was that mission with Proc, so might as well go over to there. Get that done, huh? There we are. And... Thank you for joining my side. Uh, my voice decided to crack right there. Alright. And let's have you join. Maybe. We'll see how Proc does on this. He could do to gain a couple levels, I think. Almost there. I claim the liver. All right, if you say so. I'll let you do that if you survive. Mounted execution kills. It's actually expecting me to do something. I'm not going to do something. I'm going to let this play out. I'm double-checking something. He's an assassin, right? Yeah. Uh, vulnerable to stealth and... He is beast fodder, so I don't know why he's doing this. Maybe he's trying to lose that vulnerability? I don't know. I mean, he did pretty good with that one. And that's the last one. And mission complete. Something Aminus Morgul got completed. I don't know what that is. Alright. It's weird. Did he lose the vulnerability? No. He just gained a level. That's it? That's all he did? <laughs> kind of useless. Especially considering the highest level is no longer 20. I mean, when it, the highest level was 20, that actually meant something. But now it's just kind of bleh. Oh, well. That's that, anyway. What do we got over here? That's Proc Be- Oh, he's become Proc Beast Butcher. Not Proc the Devoted. And he's got a Karagor helmet. How about that? He's going on another Karagor hunt, I guess. That's kind of close by. Kind of near a fucking totem I need to destroy anyway. Sure, let's do it. Let's do the thing. If I can eventually get there. There we go. Yep. Come on. There we are. There we are. And up we go. Whee! Alright. What the? I didn't want to go up there, but I mean, it works, I guess. Whoop. Haha. <laughs> Scared him. Scared him. Hi there. You're going to be on my side. Alright. And for the rest of this, go up. 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 And break it. Perfect. Terror Tribe monuments destroyed. And then we do the mission thing. Have to go up. Oh, there though. There we go. Good. And leading a hunt for Karagors. We'll see how that goes. Jeez, you kill one Karagor and then you go nuts over it. Shh. The voices say we're close. <laughs> yeah. New title, Proc Beast Butcher. And the voices say you're close? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> That's a thing, I guess. Well, he seems to be having a little bit tougher a time. This time around. Which, I mean... That might mean he dies. Oh, he killed the other one. Alright, well. There's one that's dead over here. And the last one. Oh, I guess he's wanting to get the last hit on this one. Oh, nice try. Yep. Hi there. You came to hunt a beast. Like an elf lover. Oh, we found a real monster. Okay, that's a way to look at it, sure. You should probably pay attention to your opponent, though. Retreating? You're retreating? Ya bitch. He fled. <laughs> That's sad. 
Huh. There's battle reports for that? What? That's a thing. Alright, well. Defeat Proc. Well, I wasn't planning on defeating him. I was just watching his stuff, if anything. But, I mean, I guess. Keep up with him. I'll do a little damage. Whoa! Didn't intend on killing him. <laughs> Oops. Didn't think that'd be enough damage to kill him. Oopsie doodle. Welp. I'll just break this down. And yeah. If he comes back, he comes back. Uh, didn't he have a blood brother, though? Didn't he have a blood brother? Uh-oh. This might be a problem. This might be a problem. Just a little bit. Balls. Alright, well. Let's check, shall we? Details. Enraged by rival. Okay. Monk the Scavenger. Monk the Scavenger? What? The fuck is Monk the Scavenger again? I don't remember. Um, oh, this guy. Mog the Scavenger, Outlaw Beastmaster. Okay, that's fair. And we got a couple new guys over here. Let's see who they are before I uh, do other things. Oh, Worm is right behind me. I keep running away. Come on now. And... Oh, fuck. Okay, fuck me. Alright, there's that. And... Take you. Alright. Oop, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this guy. Thank you! And I'll just fight this guy in the meantime. Because <laughs> he's right there. Gal Skullcracker, huh? Well. He definitely has a helmet to prevent his skull being cracked. Um. Nothing really too outlandish with this guy. Couple weaknesses, couple pretty good strengths. Nothing really special, though. That's fair, I guess. Away you go. Thank you for giving me info. Oop, okay. Hi there. I got a Karagor trained so well that it can eat its fill of man flesh, but leave all the tastiest bits for me. Alrighty, well that is pretty well trained, I guess you could call it, if you wanna. Okay, he's enraged. That's not good. Okay, that's not good. There we go. There we go, you're dealt with. You're dead. Okay, well. There goes the guy's rival. His rival's now dead. Then you're dead. Alright, well then. Man, you are good. You did good work, guy. I like you. If I could make you a captain, I would. But unfortunately, that's not up to me. Alright. Let's go find another worm. Shouldn't be that hard. Alright. What? What? Blood is blood. Blood is blood. Blood is blood. Oh. Oh, no. You ambushed me. Okay, well, he's back anyway. Ow. Fuck you. Fuck you. Guy. Trying to pull that shit. Fuck you. Pulling that shit. Fuck you. Whoop. Oh, whoop. how is he able to do that while he's dead? Okay. How about now, huh? Now you join me. How about this? Fucking pulling that shit. Fuck you. Join me now. And this is gonna take a while. <laughs> there we go. Yes. 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 Blood. Blood for me. It's vulnerable to stealth. Fear of poison. Yep. Yep. Great strength. That's his epic trait, huh? How about that? That might be useful. That might be fairly useful. Alright. Let's command you to do something, shall we? Let's command you... 
Oh, I can't command you to do that. Maybe I can have you infiltrate two Gog. Just to have you be as backup for when we do the assault. Eventually. There we go. Deal with that later. Alright, I think I'm going to end the episode here for right now because, well, now this is going to be a pain in the ass and it's going to take me forever to find a worm at this rate. Whoop! Haha! <laughs> You guys keep doing this left and right, you're just gonna make it easier for me. Ow. Come on now, guy. Alright, and whoop. Okay, that'll work. And you're gonna come at me. Eventually. There we go. Well, now he's dead. But hey! That worked out. That all worked out. Did the mission. Now we're gonna play around a little bit in Kirith Ungol. If I do a Siege Assault, it'll be on camera. But I might try and level up a couple people. I might try and get a, people to, a couple people to join us. Depends on how it'll go. There we go. What I'm thinking is if some of those uh, Uruks come back, I might have them join me. Depending on how strong they are. Um, I think I might... I might not get Poog All Eater to join me, but I might get Ashgarn to join me. Uh, Scoth the Wise, I'll definitely try and get him. Flog the Drunk, I'll try to get him. And the rest of them, it'll be a toss up, depending on how it goes. And if these guys, if these guys come back in the middle of the assault, that'll be something. But for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games and beating the shit out of Uruks and killing a lot of them. And the Nazgul as well. Because they're pretty important too. And killing and getting a couple cool guys. Because why not for you?